What's up? We're going to review Dawn of the Monsters today, one of the latest releases from Way Forward Games. And I'm going to lie to you guys right now and say I'm so excited to review this. At least I was before I reviewed the game, but this is actually a little bit after. And it's a delayed review, and you're going to see why in a little bit. So let's get this party started right now. My boy, Whoever disliked is a hashtag filthy animal. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's me. Alright. Yeah, y'all. Here's your world. It's me. It's me. T Belly here. Beautiful. What's up, YouTube? It's me. Your guy, T Belly, King of Retro here. We're going to review Dawn of the Monsters. <laughs> this is the PS5 version. I got a review copy. Shout out to WayForward. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to review this game. I got this code about three days. Let me see. One, two, two days before the release of the game. So I had two days to get this done. And I'm going to tell you right now, after playing the intro stage, I pretty much knew where this review was going. That's why this review is actually being released way after the game came out. So... Let's get into some gameplay and let's talk about this game. Cheers. Let's go. Roll it. Switch style. Alright guys, so let's start this right. This game does have customization of the monsters that you get to pick. We're going to start with some later gameplay on later stages. So you can see for a fact that I know what I'm talking about here. I am not going to judge the game off the intro stage and the first two stages, well actually kind of, but I did get farther than I wanted to, uh, to be honest with you. I played a few stages at this point, but um, even though I did play farther than what you're going to see, I kind of knew my answer after the first, let's say, three to four stages. Uh, you do get to uh, pick your items. As you see here, there's mission select. The research and development is where you pick these things. And as you see, there's a training area. So you get a few levels in this game. I guess right here, I was trying to figure out the controls. Because uh, it was a few days that I played since I first got the game. But you see, it's pretty simple controls. Easy to pick up and play. So let's talk about the positives. Right here, you can see the controls are easy to pick up and play. You get a little variety of characters, four different monsters to choose from. You get multiplayer, which I will show you later in this video. So it's pretty much straightforward. The art direction is pretty nice. I like the shaded graphics, like the flash card type of games, flash game looking stuff. I like it. I like these graphics. I think they're really cool. The concept seems pretty nice. You get a monster, you get to be a monster, and you have a beat em up based off being a monster, and you're fighting on the land. Well, the controls are great. The graphics look how they should, I believe. The concept seems really awesome, and it stops right there. Now, looking at this game, it probably looks like a really good time, but you're going to see really soon that it gets really stale really quick the same thing over and over and over you enter areas you start fighting doing beat em up stuff getting special moves you unlock some you know throughout the game you unlock different moves you have special moves you have finishers you can do fatalities which i think is really cool and you also get graded on little sections of the game so obviously the better you play the better rankings you get and obviously that should lead to trophies and achievements things of that nature this is a way forward game and we know way forward has a phenomenal and i mean phenomenal backlog this game just does not fit in that phenomenal category again i'm going to repeat this a lot this might look like a fun time it really might look fun oh this is cool you beat a mob i just ripped his head off Things of that nature. There you go. Boom. Rip the guy's head off. Pick it up. Use it as a weapon. It it comes off as really cool. It comes off as a fun time. But I'm telling you, after like two levels, you're going to get bored. It's just too stale. The combat is not complex enough 
right here you get a ranking as you see i got the s tier i mean you know who's on the controller so you shouldn't be surprised by the s tier ranking but i'm not going to get that on every time and right here you see i have a different type of enemy which at this point this is the first time i ran into this enemy he throws this little bomb that has poison on it and you could throw it back at him you know really cool that they switch up the enemies but i'm telling you it's one new enemy every world it seems like every instead of every level every area i mean i just can't get enough of how boring this game is how stale this game is mediocre and just not fun it's just not fun i'll give it a rating later later on in the video i'll give this game a rating stay away from this one guys this is one of those games that they get free you know every month they get free games they usually give good games but there's times they give games that you're like ah this is a very meh kind of title and right here this game is very meh does this game cater to anybody i'm gonna be quite quite honest with you guys there must be an audience for this there goes a special right here and the special is really cool you know got the whole godzilla effect because i'm using the megadon the Megalodon character, you know, he's like the Godzilla looking character. You have different characters. You have these robot cyborg things that humans actually control them. So someone like a Super Sentai Power Ranger type of thing where you got the humans controlling this big robot. So that's the other two characters that you use in the game. And then the first two, the main two, are monsters. You got this guy and you got the big turtle. Not fun at all. There's some cool costumes you can get to customize it. You do that like throughout the game. There's objectives you meet, but it's just not fun. And right here, I mean, I'm just taking it back to uh, when I first, very first got the game. They give you this story. The animation is on point. Wayford's right there in your face. You're like, yeah, 13 a.m. games developed it. Mm. <laughs> it's just, guys, um, it's just laughable. At how disappointed I was with this game. Again, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to review this game before it came out. Free DLs, free code, but it just wasn't fun. This was something that um I gotta say is a piece of garbage. Straight up. I mean you got the little movie here. Like I said, they have all the pieces to make a really cool indie game. All the pieces are there. You know, you got story, you got you got customization. I don't want to say RPG, but you got customization. You have multiplayer. You have comedy. You have very good controls. The graphics are nice. So if, if there's anything I can say positive, the controls are good. Like very good. The controls also are easy to pick up and play. And the graphics are visually pleasing. They are pleasing graphics to an extent. To an extent, you know, when you first see it, like if you take a still screenshot, you're like, this looks like fun. They beat them up with monsters. But man, that that idea and that portrayal just dies so fast, guys. Stay away from this. It's a piece of dog poo poo. It really is. I'm going to continue to say stay away from this one. I'm going to speak on it a little bit more. I just can't get over the story how boring it was. <laughs> Guys, I'm, okay, let me not laugh. I'm, okay, for the record, this is a second take because, man, this game is boring as fuck. Boring as fuck. So here you go. This is the intro training portion of the game. Me and my nephew playing together. And, man, let me tell you, I had to force my nephew to finish the training level with me because he was bored quick. This is the very beginning. They're teaching you how to play. Now... I did not I did not unlock everything. There's other moves I have not unlocked, like special finishers. But at the time of this recording, I didn't even get that far. I did it on my own free time. I played the game a little bit more to say, hey, maybe I could get into this game and have a great time. Let me tell you, what you see here is what you get later. Just more moves. That's all. A little bit more story, more moves, more things to do. But it's the same, the same bland bland area like i said the graphics look nice but the layout is just pretty basic you can get this over and over highways buildings monsters guys stay away from this one please i mean honestly i'd rather play nothing <laughs> this game is just sitting on my playstation 5 taking up space ready to get deleted and 
I think I could go ahead and delete this one now. Now that we got the review out the way, um, stay tuned for the final final segment. But man, piece of dog shit. It looks fun, but it's definitely not. So, <laughs> ooh, man. You know, <laughs> Oh, should we outtake this? I, I don't even think I'm going to outtake this. I'm just going to say this game is dog shit. Okay? This game is dog shit. Just because a game is a retro style of game set in a modern setting. Games like Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I believe it's the most overrated beat-em-up of all time. The, the hype behind this current release of Scott Pilgrim. So overrated, such an overrated game. I'm telling, it's a good game. So, so okay, let's let's stick to Dawn of the Monsters. Uh, I don't want to rage and just bash this game to the ground. It's not total garbage. It's not. It's just not great. It takes a little bit of Rampage, a little bit of like Streets of Rage, and they combine it, and it just doesn't work. It's very slow, very repetitive. It's not unique. It uh, the story is like I don't care about the story. These upgrades they do in these beat 'em ups. Streets of Rage 4 just gets to the point. You have controls, you have a complex fighting system. Go. You know, Scott Pilgrim in this game with these upgrades. Guys, it's a beat 'em up. I understand River City Ransom was somewhat of the first beat 'em up that had RPG elements. Well, guess what? I hate River City Ransom. I think the game sucks. I'm sorry to my boy Phil Twerpin, sorry to my boy Dumb Guts, two of my homies, but River City Ransom sucks balls. I would never play the other River City games, the River City Girls. It looks stupid to me. It doesn't look fun. I, it just doesn't look fun to me. And this game is right up that alley. Dawn of the Monsters. If I had to give it a review, a 3 out of 10, no, nah, maybe that's a little bit too harsh. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I don't like to give 7s here. And I hate to give a game a 6 that I don't like. Because there are some good games that I might give a 7. But I don't give 7s. T-Belly's Realm is no point fives. We give direct scores when I do review games. That's why I don't like reviewing games. Because this, this is just garbage, man. This game has barely no hype behind this game. There's no positive reviews about this game that I know of. Don't waste your time and money, guys. I'm sorry, WayForward. You just... This just wasn't a good one. You know, it doesn't matter who developed it. I don't even care who developed this game. WayForward produced it. I had high hopes. They did DuckTales Remastered. They've done a lot of gems. This isn't one for me, man. Dawn of the Monsters. Stay away from it, guys. I give it a 6 out of 10 because the game is clean. The graphics are not, like, horrible. The gameplay is on point. It's perfect gameplay. But that's it. The gameplay is perfect. And the art is fine. And that's it. That's all I got to say about the game. It's boring. It's slow. It's repetitive. Just a piece of dog crap. I I can't even finish the game. I'll finish it just for the trophies. But I can't even finish the game. My nephew was bored after like two minutes. We did the first stage together. I just have nothing positive to say about this game. Except the art direction is fine. And the controls are great. It's always good when games got good controls. But stay away from this one. Shout out to my man MC Murr. MC Murr got me that connect. Shout out to my man MC Murr. Good dude right there. Great channel right there. Producing some awesome retro gaming content on YouTube. We actually still have some good retro gaming content. Ironically, right? It's As much as the retro community has turned into the retro toxic community, there's still some originals out there making great content. MC Murr is one of them. NES Addict. There's just great channels out there still doing good things for retro gaming. But as far as this game goes... They take what we love about retro games, they make a new game out of it, and unlike Castle Crashers, we don't get a gem here. We get a piece of dog crap. I'm going to leave it like that. Stay away from this game. It's not good. It's not fun. T-Belly disapproves this one, and that's the bottom line because T-Belly said so. No, seriously, I, I don't like this one. Don't like it. Don't see what's fun about it. I guess the most you can do is get four bros hanging out, drinking some beers, 
and run through this game on an evening where they don't care, where they're probably not even giving their attention. We'll, we'll literally be having like a conversation about the beer we drinking in life while we're just button mashing away at this game. That's the most you can get out of this, where it's a time killer and somewhat of a stimulant to a conversation of buddies hanging out because it is a video game. And like I said, it does have good controls, but that's about as far as it goes. So stay away from this one. And if you don't like it, if you disagree, let me know down below. If you like this game, just let me know down below if you like this game. And let me know why you like it. Because I just disapprove. And, you know, I got games. I got games. I got a bunch of games. I have NES games. I mean, all over the place. I got everything. But this one is just not one that I like. And I'm going to leave it like that. Because I'll sit here all day and just bash this piece of dog crap. But that's it for today, guys. It's me. Yeah, guy. T Belly. And I'm signing off, y'all. Be safe, one love. Allahim bless. Cheers.